Virgo, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do uh, your weekly reading. This is your Anything Goes readings, Jan reading January 12th through the 18th. If you're new to my channel, Anything Goes means this can be about career, love, situations with family, friends, just whatever messages that uh, you are meant to hear. Uh, I want to let you know that I am opening up personal readings again. Uh, so there is um, a link to my website in the description box if you'd like to schedule a reading. And last thing that I will share with you, I am doing a giveaway every month. So details are below uh, for that as well. All right. So I hope you're all doing well, staying healthy, safe enjoying your new year i'm picking one card uh, here from the healing energy oracle deck a, a new deck i have that i love very positive uh, messages so i'll read this message first for you virgo <clears throat> your message is i believe is i'm sorry it is called belief i believe in myself the beauty of life and the goodness of my higher power Thus, I have the power to fulfill my dreams. This will of the Almighty supports me. I'm sorry, the will of the Almighty supports me. My life is showered in divine light and my heart opens to the power of the universe. And I want to say that these are, um, it actually just hit me, these are really good affirmations that you can say um, on a daily basis. Uh, so if it is uh, something you would like to write down, I'm going to hold it there and you can screenshot it um, because these are very powerful uh, affirmations. So very nice uh, message there for you, Virgo. Let's pull some tarot. So, you know, the energy I get from that card is that through your belief, your higher power, um, believing that all things are possible and even miracles okay miracles do happen belief believe that everything is working out for your highest good so let's get a couple cards here this is from uh this deck i'm using it's a newer deck it's a little stiff here but we're using the star or i'm using the star tarot deck there is a link in the description box of all the decks that i use a lot of people ask me so i created a link Let's cut these cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. I pray that this reading for Virgo is for the highest good and purest intentions. Whew, we're going to keep those. I pray uh, that you give Virgo the accurate messages and details they need to know for their journey. I pray that this will give them clarity and healing if needed. I thank you for your love, your wisdom, and your guidance. And may there always be love and light here. Amen. So, looks like we have the overall energy for you, Virgo, is the Ten of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so I feel, uh, Virgo, I feel like you're taking uh, the lead in your situation. I feel like there is something uh, that you will be releasing, a heavy energy, um, maybe even releasing... Uh, the past, okay, you can be releasing something from the past, uh, but there is a sense here that you are taking charge, you're going after what you uh, want, uh, whatever that is for you, I feel there is a, some sort of burden you are carrying, but now you are moving forward, taking some sort of action in the situation. It can also be um, that there is a new endeavor so they either you may be motivated to do something that you're passionate about and with this belief card believing that uh, everything is possible so very uh, nice energy there for you Virgo so I feel like there's something here that you're kind of putting to rest putting to bed okay uh, releasing whatever this heavy energy is and doing something very creative passionate Okay, some of you may be coming single as the energy that I'm getting as well. So let's uh, pull some more cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What other messages do you have for Virgo? Let's get three cards. Okay, the world card. That card's been coming out a lot, almost actually for all the earth signs. 
uh, that card. So a lot of shifts, a lot of changes, closing out old cycles. Okay. All right, so bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Swords. So I feel like there's a situation with this Eight of Swords that ha may be making you feel stuck. Okay, that's where I see you're releasing that energy and uh, moving forward, taking the lead, taking some sort of action. Okay, could be dealing with an Aquarius, uh, a Libra, or a Gemini. Okay. So I sense this energy. I feel like there's something here, as I said, you're releasing something, you're moving on from something. I'm seeing this Four of Cups energy and it's making me feel here that I feel like your vibration right now, you're really focusing on you. You're really, some of you may be doing self-improvement, spiritual healing, uh, doing some chakra work. Uh, some meditation, okay, but the the four of cups energy can be that energy of you, you know, uh, being reluctant to receive any offers, can be stubborn energy, but I just feel like you are in a place right now where you are just focusing your energy on you, and that's what I'm getting from this card. Now, you also have uh, the world card, okay, I want to also say if you're dealing with another person, this also can be um, uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. The world card uh, could be dealing uh, with a Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius. Okay, but I feel like you're closing out a cycle here. There is some sort of shift, some sort of change. I feel like it is for the betterment of you. Okay, as I said, I feel that very strong energy that you're focusing a lot of energy on you. You're taking the lead, control, um, and maybe going after something you're very, very passionate about, coming out of this stuck energy. And um, this, uh, the world card is a card also of success, gaining balance, gaining more freedom in your situation. As I said, some of you may be coming single. You also have the Six of Swords. I feel like for some of you, um, you may even be thinking about doing a home move or doing some sort of travel with the world card here and the six of swords. There's a lot of similar energies in the Capricorn reading as well. So if you have Capricorn in your chart, you may want to check that out as well. Uh, there is a playlist link below, but um, there, this is a sense here that you are coming out of some sort of conflict, stuck energy releasing, I feel, um, things that have made you felt someone or something that may have made you feel uh, that you were binded to that in some sort of way. But I feel like you're, you're, you have this great energy right now, okay? An energy of balance, healing, uh, moving on from past conflicts. Uh, to a place where you can feel a lot of peace and calm. So it's really great energy, Virgo. So let's pull some more cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What other messages do you have for Virgo? Let's get three cards. Wow, beautiful. Bottom of the deck, uh, you have the Eight of Cups, yeah. I feel like there was a situation that was really weighing you down, Virgo, okay, in the past, or it could be happening now, but there is a situation that was just really uh, weighing you down, and I, and it, look at this deck, it's, actually, I love this card, I mean, this isn't my favorite card, but this uh, is my favorite eight of cups in all the decks. You can see this person is like drowning, like they can't get up for air, okay? The emotions are suppressing them because whatever the situation was, I feel with this 10 of wands, it was energy that was weighing you down. And you can see this person struggling to get to the surface, to get to where this, this beautiful rainbow is. And there's even a dolphin on the side, okay, and a dove which tells me here spirit is helping you release this energy to get to that peace, joy, and happiness I'm seeing there at the top. 
So I feel there's a sense there was a situation that was very unsatisfying emotionally. It was a heavy burden, and I feel like you're releasing that and you're moving on from it. I'm also seeing with the seven of of a uh, coin here that it was a situation where I feel you did give it you your all okay you put in the time the effort um, you may have even invested financially uh, but it was something that was done from your heart you did this out of your love and your heart um, and but you weren't getting the the uh, the results that you wanted to get, I feel, and here is that shift, okay, coming out of, of that energy. Now look at this. You have the King of Wands. You have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, okay? So for some, this can be a relationship. This it shows me here there is a couple here, okay? It can be um, a situation where you are at a distance from your person or there is distance between the two of you. But this also can just be another confirmation that your energy is focused on you and what you're passionate about, okay? And that is the shift that I am seeing here, believing in yourself, this belief card. Moving on from past, uh, you know, change the chains that bound you, okay? Uh, you know, it can be, maybe you had a lot of people around you that were just weighing you down, pulling you down type of energy. And then look here, you have the star card strong Aquarius energy okay this is I feel that energy of you moving on from that situation gaining your peace your happiness your balance healing um, but also putting you where you are destined to be is what I'm getting with the star card and this world card there is some sort of shift happening because uh, I feel like a lot of you are focusing on you and you are being positioned um, and guided here uh, where you are meant to be. So let's pull some more cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What other messages do you have for Virgo? What other messages do you have for Virgo? Let's get three cards. bottom of the deck <clears throat> bottom of the deck you have uh the strength card okay can be um what am i trying to say can be a strong leo this is strong leo energy but this card is about perseverance uh can be taming the inner uh inner beast you know, not giving in to desires as well, okay? I do see here there's this king of wands here, and it's not about male or female. It's about the energy, okay? But, you know, really this is about your, your inner strength, okay? Your vitality, your confidence, believing in yourself, okay? Enthusiasm, okay? And trusting your instincts, so I feel, you know, you are, you're moving on the right path. And they're saying here, have the belief, okay, um, that there is beauty and goodness, okay, coming in for you. You have the two of wands <clears throat> energy. <coughs> I'm going to say there's a lot of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy in this reading. So it tells me here there is some sort of decision here. You may have already made it, but for some of you, uh, this can be an upcoming decision. I feel it's a decision where you're, you're at that crossroads. You're trying to make a choice uh, for the betterment, I feel, for you. Okay, putting you where you are destined to be. Okay, there. I feel with this card, I also get... Um, there could be some timing, but it's definitely about your own happiness. Now, you also have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so this is that energy I feel. Um, I had already felt this had to do with your own happiness. You're, you know, you're really, truly what you want in your heart. Okay, but I feel, you know, you got the Four of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles here. This is also about your stability. For some of you, this can be about you um, going after your passion, being confident about what you're passionate about. 
Uh, you can see with the strength card, I love it. There's an affinity symbol with a heart. Uh, and this tells me that all things are possible. Okay, all things are possible here. You just have to be have the belief. So I sense there is a situation here um, <clears throat> where your decision has to do with your own stability um, and doing what's best for you. Like I said, it can be, uh, some of you may be uh, making a decision about your career, your finances, um, you know, a home move, can even be travel. This is only a week reading, so remember this is not like a long-term reading. But you also have um, the judgment card. <clears throat> you know, so I sense with this judgment card, you also have the star card. I feel you're being guided here for, by your angels. Okay, so there is some sort of judgment call you're having to make in your situation that is going to help you release this past uh, energy you've been carrying with you, uh, some sort of shift. I feel new beginnings. Some of you may, like I said, may be making a decision to make some sort of home move, can be about a relationship, becoming single, uh, you know, whatever it is for you, okay? So very nice uh, energy for you, Virgo. We're gonna pull one card, actually it came out already from um, Archangel Michael. And this is my favorite, one of my favorites. It's called um, Innocence. <clears throat> I love the blue angels and he's holding a little, little puppy. So Archangel Michael is holding you in a comforting embrace, assuring you of your innocence. Ask him to help you forgive yourself and let go of guilt, which is a heavy emotion that keeps you from experiencing inner peace. And for some of you, that could be that heavy energy. Um, by saying, Archangel Michael, thank you for helping me forgive myself for my situation or specific event and for anything else I blame myself for. Please help me release all self-blame from my mind, my body, and emotions. Feel the sensation of deep release as Archangel Michael helps you embrace your true innocence. Your past behavior could never undo God's perfect handiwork in creating you as a powerful, loving, and much-needed being of light and love. So possible specific meanings, the individual you're inquiring about is innocent, purify or de detoxify. You can trust the situation that you're asking about. Focus on other people's good qualities instead of their mistakes. So the prayer, if you want to say it with me, is, Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all others. Help me embrace my God-given innocence so that I may be at peace. So beautiful message there from Archangel Michael. Um, I hope you gain clarity here, Virgo. Again, if you want to enter the giveaway, details are below. You can also, if you want to say the prayer later, you can go back to the video as well. Um, but I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.